Well, I, I would like to introduce uh, Rogelio Malveira. Excuse me if I can't pronounce pretty well your name. He's a Brazilian doctor, and uh, he has a, a lot of success in his profession. And I could to talk and read all the success he has and the recognition he has had. But I would like to uh, point out the most important impressive thing I found in his career. It is the human thing of the medicine because he understood that to improve the mental health of the patient of, and the people is a question of uh, confidence and uh, understanding. Because uh, if you have been some time in front of any doctor, the question is uh, get confidence that he is doing the, the, his profession well and that you understand pretty well what is going on with the medicine he is going to give you. This part of the human thing is uh, understand that human health, human health and uh, mental health especially, is maybe the most important thing that have you, we have to understand and to treat because it's going to give us the possibilities to interchange with the other persons and to live in society. The medicine, understand, this is the, the real comprehension, the, the, the real success of uh, Malveira, the Dr. Malveira, is understand that the most important things of medicine is and the mental health, is the, for the person to understand what is going on and to have the confidence that the people who are going to treat him is the right people and he has confidence with him to receive the understanding and the medicine he is going to get. That's why I, uh, he has done many things in that direction. And he, by example, he understands that by the, th those prescriptions you receive from the doctors are the prescription. You never understand what is going on. The doctor writes something there, and you never know what is going on with this prescription. Then he had decided to uh, create a new form, a new system to give this kind of prescription to the people, to give the people understanding. And if the people understand what is going on, they are going to get the confidence with the doctor and to maintain the real way to improve his mental, to mental health. Then I introduced then Mr. Giorgio, your Roger, <laughs> Malveira, please. Thank you, <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Rogério, and I'm a doctor and a social entrepreneur. When I was in med school, a teacher said to me, the limit of our world is defined by the limit of our understanding. I used it to be a limited person because of my fear of being judged by others. I didn't believe in myself, and I wouldn't be speaking here today. But I gained understanding of things, and my life changed. I decided to spread this change. And today, I work to break a limit of society, the lack of understanding about health, which is called health illiteracy. In my country, Brazil, there are about 54 million people who cannot read and understand health information. So, we have a lot of work to do there. If I ask you to take a pill every eight hours, you would probably take it at 7 a.m., 3 p.m., and 11 p.m., right? However, many patients think the right way is to take it at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. It's a real public health problem. For three years, I've been studying this difficulty to understand health information, and I was surprised that even people who can't read struggle to understand health instructions. This includes more than 100 million Americans. In analyzing medical prescriptions, they are associated with bad handwriting. They come in difficult terms and abbreviations, such as intradermal and PO, which means by mouth, and are divided by orientations, such as take this med every eight hours, every 12 hours, by lunch, and many patients take five or more meds a day. It's very difficult to organize it. People do not take their meds correctly, so they complicate their diseases, go to hospitals, and die. 
All of these cost billions of dollars in healthcare. It gets more complicated when you look through mental health perspective. Patients who have chronic diseases are in higher risk for depression. Three out of 10 heart attack survivors experience depression. This risk also happens to other diseases, such as diabetes, AIDS, and stroke. <laughs> These patients take five, seven, sometimes 10 or more meds a day. And for having depression, they are three times more likely to not take the meds correctly and to not follow medical instructions. We know depression itself is debilitating, and this effect is multiplied in people with physical illness. The simplicity of drug use is one of the fundamental conditions for those patients to follow treatment. However, as we saw, prescriptions are not easy to understand. The prescription has to change. More than that, health has to change. My team and I founded an impact business to bring this change, Luneta Health. We participated from a startup program sponsored by Telefonica, which helped us to develop a software used by health professionals that generates a new prescription easy to understand. This prescription is generated 40% faster than regular medical prescription, it comes in a schedule of hours based on patient routines. It comes in easy language such as take it by your mouth, take it every day, and most importantly, it comes with pictograms. These pictograms are images that show how, when, and what to take. A study from Rhodes University revealed that these images raised the percentage of patients who most took the meds correctly from two to 54%. So, we've desi we designed and tested our pictograms with Brazilian patients, and they said, I don't have to bang my head anymore. Everyone can understand this prescription. If my doctor gave this to me, <laughs> I would think he's a nice doctor. Our software was tested in the hospital of Federal University of Ceará in Brazil, and so far, we've reached 100 patients. Soon, its final version will be available to early adopters. The initial results seem to improve patients' understanding, which makes it easier to follow health treatments. We have organized and classified by hand over 20,000 medicines to help more patients live better lives. People say that the 21st century is the century of information, <laughs> but we have too much already. What we want is understanding. It's about time health was understandable to everyone. With 350 million people worldwide experiencing depression, and many of whom have chronic diseases, we want our solution to be adopted globally and contribute to a great health care. It's a basic human right that we must fight for. Let's take this fight and change health. Thank you.